Hello, in this Steam Deck video, I'm going to show you how to set up PPSSPP, which is a PSP emulator. So it's really easy to do. So I want to say that this video is not condoning piracy. Recommend that you own a physical PSP for legal purposes and the game that you're going to try as well. I own the game and I've got a couple of PSPs as well. Actually, three PSPs. Okay, so first of all, what you want to do is go into desktop mode. Do that by clicking the Steam button go all the way down to power click a you can use the touch screen if you want to go to switch to desktop and in this mode it's better if you use the if you haven't used it before use the right trackpad to move around with the mouse it won't work initially it just takes a few seconds for it to kick in and you use the left trackpad if you click that in that initiates a right click so the left trackpad does and the right trackpad, if you click it in, initiates a left click and this to move around, as you can see. Okay, so now let's go ahead and download it. To download it's really simple. Let's go to the Discover Store. If it doesn't appear there, let's go to Find In All, all Applications. Go to Discover. Search for PPSSP. I mean PPSSPP. And to get the keyboard up, once you've selected the search, you know, text box, press Steam and then X. So Steam X. And now you just search for it. So, P P S S P P, and there we go. So I've already got installed. You'll have an install button like so. So just click install, let that install, and then that's P P S S P P installed. And in terms of getting games, again, I want to say this video is not condoning piracy. But what I do use personally is Vim's Lair, and that's vim.net, v i w m dot n e t. Again, not condoning piracy. I only download the games that I already physically own. And you just go into it, go to the vault, and go to PlayStation Portable. And I'm going to be testing GTA Liberty City Stories. And um, if I was to down, scroll down. Click the download button and you just make sure select save file is selected. Click OK. I've already got it downloaded, so let me show you what to do then. Go to downloads and just right click it. Remember to right click, you press in the left touchpad whilst ho hovering over it. Now use the right trackpad, go to extract. You can just extract here, that's fine. And okay, so it's just extracting the file. Once it's done, it'll appear right there. And you'll let, let us know. Okay, there we go. Now that it's done, you can click open containing folder. I'll just click X because the folder's right here. And all we need is this dot ISO. If it comes as a dot C ISO, that's fine as well. And uh, that's just a compressed version. Okay, so all we need is this. And I would recommend that you create some folder for your PSP ROMs. And that's where you know all the PSP ROMs are. I've created it on the external storage. So on a micro SD card, you can create it on the internal, maybe in documents or and putting downloads wherever you want but organization is always key especially when you're dealing with multiple emulators multiple roms etc so to i'm just going to cut it so if you right click and click cut and like i said i'm putting it on the external drive i've got a folder called roms got a folder called psp already got it there but i'll override it and over override it is that the word overwrite it and click overwrite it doesn't take long to copy stuff over and that's it we're, we're all done in terms of the desktop mode almost so now just launch up steam you can even launch it via this or if the icon appears here click that go to library one last step you want to go to add a game add a non-steam game and just find ppssppp in here and there we go tick it add selected programs that's it we can press x up here launch game mode again if you just double click that and you can just use your mouse your finger on that as well it takes a few seconds to launch back up okay so it's initiating the process now 
and what we've done now is because we've added it as a non-Steam game, it means we can easily access it via the regular Steam Deck menu instead of having to go to desktop mode. Because frankly, I like to deal with desktop mode the least amount of times as possible. Um, it's good that we have it, and I'm glad, but it's a rather not access it. So here we go. So if I just use the touch screen and, and press play, it's got a little disk space, and here we go. Here's PPSSPP. So before we do some games, better thing to bear in mind, you can actually use your D-pad to navigate around here. So I'm just going to go to settings. Okay, your back end will most likely be selected as OpenGL. Click Vulcan. If you change it, it will say, do you want to restart, you know, PPSSPP? Say yes, you'll restart it. For device, it should select AMD RAD V. Make sure it does. And next, there's only a couple of other things that we want to change in here. And uh, make sure full screen is selected. For rendering resolution, feel free to up this and experiment. But four times, I find it looks good and it also seems to work well with games. So do four times. And. I mean that's pretty much it. You can increase the texture scaling as well. Feel free to experiment. I've left it as is. You know, hardware tessellation. It will vary based on game because some games you'll be able to really crank it up. Some you won't. So therefore, you know, you'll have to experiment. But apart from that, it just really works outside the box. Audio leave as is. Controls. The controls are mapped automatically. If you do want to use on-screen touch controls, which I don't see why you would want to. Considering you got amazing like built-in gamepad, but if you do, you just select that. But I don't want it on. And control mapping, you can you know reconfigure the controls. Just go to let's say D-pad up, press A on that, and press the corresponding key, and there we go. But again, I, I'm not interested in that. And anything else, have a look. But make sure memory stick inserted is ticked. Memory stick size 16 gig is fine. I mean, really, that's it. Now we should go back. Okay, so by default, you'll probably have it looking something like this. Uh, I like this. Okay, so if you, if you let's say, want to access games that are on your Steam Deck storage and not your micro SD card storage, so the internal storage, this is how you'll access it depending on where you put it. So, or you can go back up a bit. And go back up and let's say if they're in somewhere else you can access it like this but how do you access it if they're on your external storage what you do you go to run you go to media you go to mmc and now that's our micro sd card roms psp i've only got the one game oh yeah press a you can skip all this It's running good. Hey, hey, hey. So, got you a nice little place to stay. Okay, there we go. GTA Liberty City Stories is working, as is the PSP emulator. It's really exciting to see Liberty City Stories working because I recently tried this on the PCSX2 emulator. And it ran like beans. It was terrible. It was not very good. Whereas on this, I've tested it before I created the video. But, you know, it was fine. It is at 30 frames a second. But that's what it the initially was. And as you can see, it's looking slick. It's not looking, you know, blurry or low res. You know, by increasing that resolution. Obviously, I don't have access to the right analog stick. Because the PSP never had a right analog stick. That's something to bear in mind, but you can override controls and add that feature in the, in the settings if there was some other way of controlling, let's say, the, the camera. Let me pause a second. So yeah, that is it. If you want to know how to run games at 60 frames per second, I will be creating a video on how to do that. You, it's slightly, it's an extra step depending on if the game has like this patch for it. So feel free to you know wait for that if you like the video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button 
let me know in the comments what video you would like to see next there's a steam compatibility list that i'm compiling where i'll put every game that i've tried in there and the recommended settings if they're different to the setup video and um one last thing if you want to quit out of the game and get back to PPSSPP, as far as I'm aware right now, there is no way, unlike here, PCSX2, so you just have to press the Steam button. You have to go to Exit Game, Confirm, and then you just launch up PPSSPP again. It doesn't take long to do. It's not that much of an inconvenience, but it's just something to, for you to bear in mind. And obviously, um, I feel like they'll probably, you know, have an update for it soon. I'm hoping so. So that's it. That's the PSP PP SSPP emulator. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye.